Well, well, well. It turns out that we have two Nintendo Directs of sorts to look forward to tomorrow. After a week of buzz and speculation on the internet that there might be some kind of a Nintendo Direct before the end of August, which in theory would be replacing the standard September Direct we normally expect, it turns out that there is going to be some Nintendo Direct presentations happening in the month of August. They are now officially tomorrow, August 27th. Very different than something we normally see, but I also think it potentially is a very exciting glimpse into the near future when it comes to something like the Switch 2, perhaps. And that's really what I want to focus on in this video. Of course, let's first address the actual news because this is, I believe, a first time scenario where Nintendo is actually going to be taking two different types of shows that they normally do and pushing them together in one day in one back-to-back -back presentation. It's very interesting, it's certainly very cool, even though I'm not really expecting a whole lot of anything for me in these shows, except for one huge possibility. But I still think, like I said, that it is cool that Nintendo is choosing to do something like this, because it's a lot of content in one general sort of format, and that I think does get people very excited. So, they just tweeted this morning this information. They say, join us tomorrow, August 27th at 7 a.m. Pacific time for an Indie World showcase followed by a Nintendo Direct Partner showcase. The live stream, featuring both presentations back to back, will be roughly 40 minutes in total. And then of course, as is the standard in 2024, they follow it up with a tweet that says, please note there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during either of these presentations. And of course, even though they say there's not gonna be any Switch 2 news in either of these showcases, I'm still gonna mostly focus on it in this video because it's actually the most exciting takeaway I have from this announcement because again, as I alluded to in the beginning, these shows probably won't have much for me. Again, except for one possible thing. So, let's talk about this real quick. They're taking an Indie World, they're taking a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, typically very short, small tier presentations with small tier games, and they're putting them together. They say in the tweet that these are back-to-back -back presentations. First, the Indie World at 7 a.m. Pacific time, which is my time, and then however long that goes for. Once it's over, they're gonna then do the partner showcase. So maybe we can just guess each one will be 20 minutes. That's fine for me. And uh, so yeah, 40 minutes total between these two presentations. Now, I'm just gonna be honest. When I talk about why these aren't probably gonna have anything for me, it's because indie worlds aren't normally exciting to me. I have nothing against indie games, but a lot of you guys know I just don't really play a whole lot of indie games. There is that recently announced game Mio that was shown in the last June Direct that I am very excited for. So if we see more from Mio, I guess, in this game, that would be, or this uh, presentation, I should say, say, the indie world, that would certainly get me excited. It's a very cool looking Metroidvania kind of game. And sure, I guess maybe there's always the one-off chance we see Silk Song, but I mean, whatever. We just need to forget about that game. As far as I'm concerned, that game is dead to me until it releases. Um, and then the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Look, those also are typically not very exciting to me. However, there has been the occasional exciting announcement from one of those. I believe Monster Hunter Rise was first announced in a Partner Showcase. So there is the chance for something pretty decent for my tastes to show up in that partner showcase. I don't expect anything mind-blowing, but I do think that there could be some kind of a surprise sort of game that maybe I would be into. Now, the only other thing I want to talk about before hopping into the Switch 2 conversation and why I want to discuss that in today's video is let's talk about the one offshoot chance of a huge announcement that would definitely be coming from the partner showcase that would make me excited. And it is Metroid Primes 2 and 3. Technically, those games, if they exist like we think, or I guess even like the Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. So these four games, these four like ports, HD ports of older generation Nintendo games that we've all been waiting on for like five years to show up on the Switch. I feel like, you know, knowing the Switch 2 is coming, and I think the next time Nintendo addresses us will be about the Switch 2. If this really is the last time they can talk about anything solely dedicated to the Switch, if Primes 2 or 3 of the Zelda games are going to show up, I think that there is a chance, because they're ports and not new games, there is a chance that they could be shown in this partner showcase. 
and whether or not the Metroid Prime games would get the full remaster treatment, like Metroid Prime Remastered, if they're just going to get like an HD port, whatever they're doing, same with those Zelda games, it would be huge news, and it would make me so damned excited. So, the only reason I'm going to be tuning into the Partner Showcase tomorrow morning is because I'm hoping to see those Metroid games, or maybe even those Zelda games. Uh, I'm not going to watch the Indie World, I'll just catch up on it afterwards and see if anything cool like came out of it. I don't expect anything from me, like I said. Partner Showcase, I am going to try to catch that in the morning and watch it in full. And like I said, the real exciting prospects for me would be the Metroid or Zelda games. But anyway, with that stuff out of the way, let's get to the more exciting possibility coming from all of this. And it has to do with the fact that, and I just even mentioned this a minute ago, I think that... After the June Direct, and now with these two Directs coming tomorrow, one in Indie World, one a Partner Showcase, Nintendo over this summer will have gotten out one of each of their three main format shows that they do. A regular Direct, a Direct Partner Showcase, and an Indie Direct. I mean, I guess there's Direct Minis, but I don't really know how, how common those are anymore. I can't remember the last time there was an actual Direct Mini. Um, so, you know, you've got your three or four main shows. Regular Directs, Direct Minis, Partner Showcases, Indie Directs, and we're getting at least these three over the course of this summer. We always expect the September Direct. We haven't had an, uh, a September Direct announced, but here we are getting the surprise, like, mishmash Direct thing happening tomorrow, right at the end of August. So what happens to the September Normal Direct that a lot of people have been banking on to happen? Well, this is where my theory about the Switch 2 comes in, and this is nothing but me throwing a dart at the wall, I am speculating, I am guessing, I am theorizing as a fan only, as I like to remind you guys. I'm wondering if they're going to get these two shows out tomorrow and get them done and, in, and banked in their back pocket, so that in September, when maybe we would normally expect a regular Nintendo Direct, with the Switch 2 looming and confirmation that they're going to reveal it sometime between now and March, what if in September they're going to make that the official reveal of the Switch 2. Now I know at first glance your knee-jerk reaction might be to say that that's crazy. You might think I'm being overly optimistic and that I'm shooting for the stars when I say that. And I totally get it. I'm not, I'm not like putting my money on this happening. But when I just talk about it as an idea and I try to analyze the direct we had in June and again these two shows happening tomorrow, which is very strange. I mean, part of what makes me even talk about this happening next month is simply because their choice to give us a Direct right at the end of August, where they normally don't do that, and the fact that they're squishing two smaller Direct shows together into one larger presentation, it's all strange. It's all abnormal. This is not how they typically do things. And so that just tells me they've been pretty consistent with the September show for many, many years straight. Of all the consistent Nintendo Direct formats people like to talk about, there's always a January one, there's always a February one, there's always a Spring one, there's always a June one, all these things we talk about. Really, all of those are common, but they're not, like, guaranteed every year. The September Direct, though, I think that that is pretty much guaranteed every year. And so... If they're not going to have a regular Direct, and they're not going to have an Indie or a Partner Showcase because they're now happening tomorrow in August, what would they be doing in September? Sure, there's the chance that they are going to skip September outright because it's a weird year, the Switch is phasing out, the Switch 2 is coming soon. But I'm going to commit to the idea that they are going to address us with something next month in September. And if it's not, like I already said, I mean, I already said this, right? If it's not a regular Direct, I think it could be the Switch 2, and it's the perfect time to tell us about the Switch 2. I mean, let's look at what happened with the original Switch. The NX was announced and revealed to be the Nintendo Switch with that initial three-minute trailer in October of 2016. And so that's that, you know, October is like your fall heading into winter time. August, you know, we're at the end of August, summer is basically over, September is going to get us into that fall period, it's only a month before October. If they were willing to reveal a new generation console in October of 2016, why wouldn't they be willing to do the next reveal of the next new generation in September of 2024 this year? And again, we already know the Switch 2 is coming, Nintendo told us in a tweet a few months ago that they're going to be revealing it soon. And... You know, I, I've been optimistic on this point. I know it was very easy for a lot of people to hear that time frame and say, oh, 
If Nintendo is telling us they're going to reveal the Switch 2 before March next year, then they're going to wait to the last minute and they're going to do it in March of next year. But I've never really felt that. In my gut, I feel like they're going to do it sooner than later. And I don't think, contrary to what many people will tell you, I don't think it's going to hurt Nintendo's video game sales if they confirm a Switch 2 this year in 2024 and i know there's like the zelda switch Lite and stuff that's happening next year in september and that's at the very end of the month maybe nintendo pulls something cheeky and uh the switch Lite comes out and then right in the last like day or two of september they do the switch 2 reveal so it's after people might have bought those like zelda switch lights for echoes of wisdom i don't know i mean i'm just kind of spitballing random ideas at this point but i just think you know when we look at the larger concept i'm talking about I think that September, October is already an ideal time to reveal the Switch 2 if they're going to do it in 2024. Granted, as always, I could be wrong and maybe they are going to wait till 2025, but I believe they're going to do it this year. Why not address this in September and say here is officially the Switch 2, here's what it's going to be. Not to mention, if the thing is backwards compatible and if they can confirm that it's backwards compatible next month if they would reveal it, then again, Sure, people might be less inclined to buy Nintendo Switches, but I think that that was already going to happen anyway. Now we have to think, it's backwards compatible, people already have Switches anyway, so people are going to be buying Zelda Echoes of Wisdom and the Mario & Luigi game and that Mario Party game that are coming out this holiday, because we already have Switches, so the video games, people are going to buy them, whether or not we know a Switch 2 is coming. No one's going to say, oh, I'm now not going to buy the new Zelda game I was excited for because the Switch 2 is announced. That won't happen. We will all still buy the Zelda and Mario and Luigi games or whatever it is we're excited for, no matter what. So I think they can reveal the Switch 2 this year and not impact their video game sales. I know there is the argument with hardware sales, and I don't know how that would fit into things, but... I feel like if Nintendo wants to give themselves a good six, seven, eight months of run up and hype and build up to launching the Switch 2, they could reveal it next month. And this brings us back to the fact that these two Nintendo Directs that were announced for tomorrow, as I said, this is all strange. It's not normal. Why wouldn't you have waited to do this in September? You're pushing two weird small Directs together? They've never done that before. So I don't know. I'm looking at this. I'm choosing to look at this from an optimistic perspective, and I think that it could be a sign that something big will still happen in September, and while it might just be another regular Direct, although I don't know what the hell they would talk about if it's not the Switch 2, I think it's going to be the Switch 2. So, just guessing, I'm just a fan, you guys know me, I'm just a Nintendo and a Metroid fan with the YouTube channel, I'm not leaking anything I've heard, but I think... This announcement for tomorrow's shows just might be opening the window to the possibility of a Switch 2 reveal coming next month in September.